Hello, my name is Jonathan Kemp and I'm the creator of Smart Wisdom. And I've been helping people manage information more effectively for the last 20 years. If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in how can you um, prevent yourself from touching your face too much and also wash your hands properly in this time of uh, coronavirus. So I've done a one page overview and this information was taken from uh, a couple of videos on the BBC website. So here we've got basically, and things I hadn't really thought about is that to actually touch the face is completely normal. We're hardwired to do that and we've done it since we've been in the fetus and as children, as adults. And actually as children, we then mimic adults as they're doing it. And something else I hadn't really thought about was that actually the reason we do it, it's a way of self-calming, a way of sort of massaging ourselves. And we do it many different times. You know, we do it when we're shocked, when we're surprised, when we're upset, equally when we're stressed, or when we're in, just in a sort of thoughtful situation. And then there are also times when we might be less aware of uh, touching our face, such as moving our hair or straightening it out. And there are times that um, I've never really thought about until recently, you know, quite often I'll find myself actually leaning on my hands or resting on my hands. So the solution to uh, actually doing something about this is here. And the first thing is to be aware that it's very natural to use your hands um, to touch your face in many different instances. So the first key action is to be aware, try and be more aware of what the hands are doing. And when your hands aren't doing anything, um, the brackets here is negative, just sit and cross your fingers. So at the point that you actually uncross your fingers, you're much more aware of where your hands are going or what they're doing. Then there are some other simple actions, again, that I'm thought of, um, and it's probably relevant for a lot of us, is that if you have problems with your eyes and you use contacts, try and switch from contacts to glasses to minimize um, touching the eyes. And similarly, if you use makeup, uh, either use none or if you can, less. And if you put less on, then the top ups are going to be less during the day. So here, very quickly, you can get an overview of the reasons why we touch our face, that it's completely natural and some of the things that we can do to uh, look after ourselves. Next, on the subject of hand washing, which ties very much in with watching your face, the key is not to touch your face, particularly the nose, mouth or eyes. And the reason for doing this is that it's a route for the virus to enter the body. Now, when you cough, the key thing is not to, or when you uh, sneeze, the key is not to use your hands to cover your mouth but try and use a tissue, which you then dispose of in a bin, or to use an item of clothing, such as, your, such as a sleeve. And the reason for this is that, let's say you don't cover your hands, or you rather, you don't use your hands to cover your mouth, or rather, if you do use your hands to cover your mouth, then the virus is on your hands, and that anything that your hands then touch, the virus can survive outside your body for several hours. And this will be the same as if you uh, dispose of a tissue, but not in the bin. Now the key um, for washing is effective washing. And the process that um, I was shown was again, parts of it I wouldn't naturally have done. So the first step is to, wa to wet your hands with water. The next best step is to thoroughly apply soap and lather that soap into a thick lather. And then once that's done, you then go through the process of you wash the back of your hands, then your fingers, then your thumbs. And after that, you then clean the palm of your hand, then your wrist, then the back of the hand again. And finally, the last bit is that you then rinse your hands and dry them either on a dryer or with a tissue. Now the key thing again is if you use tissues to dispose of it. And finally, how to turn the tap off because you don't want to touch it with your clean hands. So either use another tissue or use your elbow. So that's it again, some top tips on uh, how to wash your hands properly. 
and the reason for putting together this smart wisdom is to give you a clearer overview of all the issues we face or the reasons we face issues with touching our face which is a natural process to be really careful of our hands where we touch and also not to use our hands for covering our face when we cough and how to wash our hands properly. So I find, hope you found these really helpful and uh, if you'd like to learn Smart Wisdom, you know, feel free to, uh, to go to the Smart Wisdom website and you can learn the course or you can get some top tips on managing information in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and hope you have a good rest of the day. Thank you. Bye.